Good evening, Facebook and YouTube. I hope everybody is doing well tonight, and I hope everybody is uh, not going stir crazy. I hope cabin fever hasn't set in. I know uh, we as humans are created to be uh, with people, except for the occasional um, introverts, which even introverts need uh, the occasional uh, person to be in their life. So. Um, I told you earlier that I, I had something that had been weighing on me and there was something that I wanted to uh, to really talk about. There's a song, uh, it's called Everything by Lifehouse. Um, a while back there was a video that was posted to YouTube that was a church that had done a skit using this particular song. It's a very powerful, very moving skit. Um, if you haven't seen it, uh, I recommend you looking up uh, everything church skit or something like that um, on YouTube and, and finding it. Uh, and I think you'll be uh, pleased that you did that. Um, and you might need some tissues because it, it, like I said, it's very powerful. But as I'm listening to the song, there's a theme. And uh, we in life tend to move from one thing to another. We, we move from one job to another. Uh, we move from one relationship to another. And a lot of times when we're lost, we try to find things to fill our lives. And those things that we try to fill our lives with are uh, not always harmful, but they're always going to leave us wanting more. You can go off and you can get the brand newest thing out there and then a month later the brand newest ist thing comes out and it, it does something to us where we're like, dang it, if I, if I would have waited I would have been able to get that. And, uh, you see that with cars, you see that with uh, game consoles, you see that with cell phones, you see it with all kinds of stuff. And we're always trying to fill something uh, something in us and relationships are the same way a lot of people go from one relationship to another and they're searching for something uh, and those people who jump from relationship to relationship they're not finding what they're looking for um, because ultimately what they're looking for they don't understand it. and I think that's one of the biggest things is we don't we don't always understand what we're looking for we don't understand what feels missing that we need to we need to fill a void. And honestly, that void is a cross-shaped hole in our heart. And honestly, it comes down to uh, sex, drugs, rock and roll, um, any kind of addiction, any kind of uh, relationship. None of that is going to fill that void. The only relationship uh, that will ever fill the void, the only thing that will ever fill the void is honestly Jesus Christ. It is our savior. And right here, you're all I want, you're all I think, you're all I need, you're everything. Everything, all I want. Are we, are we telling Christ, you're everything. You're the only thing I ever need, is you. That's it, nothing else. Everything else is extra. Everything else is just the little topper on the cake, but at the heart of it all, Christ is the meat and potatoes. He's the dessert. He's he's the cake and the frosting, the little cherry on top. Christ is everything. Without him, everything is gonna taste like cardboard. It's never gonna be fulfilling. But when you have Christ, Everything is a little bit sweeter. Everything is a little bit more vibrant when you have Christ in your heart. Otherwise, we're dust. We, we are nothing. You, you live, you die, nothing. Because there's no hope. With Christ, we understand Christ is the gateway to the Father. We understand that there is only one way to the Father, and that's through Christ. He is the bridge. He is the light. 
he is the one and only way. He should be our everything. There, there should be nothing else. And there's scripture to that effect. Uh, Hebrews 13, 5 through 7. Let your conduct be without covetousness. Be content with such things as you have. For he himself has said, I will never leave you nor forsake you. So we may boldly say, the Lord is my helper. I will not fear what can man do to me. And honestly, that's the, that's the question we need to ask ourselves. What do we covet in this life? Is it the relationships? Is it the things? Is it, uh, is it sex? Is it drugs? Is it uh, the promotion? Is it money? Uh, is it toilet paper? I mean, whatever it is that we're, we're coveting right now, we need to look at ourselves and say, you know what? Scripture says all that stuff, all that stuff is going to turn to dust. It's going to rust. It's going gonna, it's gonna to mold. It's going to fall apart. It's going to break. There's something that we could have that's tangible. is Christ in our heart. And Christ in our heart becomes tangible because of how it changes our heart. Scripture says when we take Christ into our heart and we accept him as our Lord and Savior, we become a new creation. And that adoption that Christ paid for with blood becomes a reality. And we are no longer wretches, but we are children of the king. We are adopted into the royalty of heaven. So we need to take that song and we need to realize he's everything. There, there is nothing else. There, there, is, there is no tomorrow without Christ. As we see right now everything going on in this world, there, there is so much death, so much fear. So much panic. You go to the shopping malls, and they're empty. You go to the stores, and the shelves have nothing on them. Businesses are closed. You can't even get a haircut. Shops, restaurants, they're all closed. Schools are closed. We, in our lifetime, have never seen anything like this but those who know Christ those who have Christ in their heart we don't fear man we don't fear a virus we don't fear death you know uh, Dumbledore in, in the movie Harry Potter tells Harry don't don't pity the dead pity the living we don't we don't pity the dead we celebrate their lives we mourn their losses but at the same time that's because we will miss them but it's not forever for those who trust in Christ have the gateway opened to them to eternity through Christ and all you have to do is let Christ into your heart let him change you let him make you into something new we know that Christ lived we know that he died and there's enough evidence to say that tomb was empty and still is the tomb will always be empty we can trust the scriptures we can trust the Gospels we can trust the stories there's plenty of evidence to show that so if we know that there's enough evidence why are we afraid why are we as a people afraid well we're afraid because we don't know Jesus and if you know Christ you should be telling everybody you know hey I know you're afraid right now, but I know a way for you to not be afraid. And I'm not saying don't prepare. 
I'm not saying don't don't plan. I mean, look at me. I, I'm sitting in a tent with food, with batteries, with propane, with heaters, with a cot, with uh, knives and, and flashlights and all that because I was prepared. I've been preparing for this moment my whole life. All my training in the military, all my training uh, as a kid wanting to, to have a tent and wanting to be a Boy Scout and never was, but uh, all of that stuff has prepared me for this, to be able to live in solitude, in a tent, and be just fine. Are we preparing our hearts for tomorrow? Not worrying about it, preparing. Are we allowing Christ to be in us, to fill us? As scripture says, my cup overfloweth, meaning Christ is always more than enough to sustain. So are we allowing him to do that? Are we accepting him? Christ is the way, the only way, and he should be everything to us. Not a back seat, not a second place. First, always. Something to think about. So you guys get ready for bed. Uh, I hope that you do so peacefully. I hope that you are able to look at tomorrow with joy. I hope you're able to look at tomorrow with opportunity. Because every day we wake up and breathe, there is an opportunity to share the love of Christ. There's an opportunity to show joy. There's an opportunity to show happiness. There's an opportunity to tell your loved ones you love them. Say hello to a long lost friend. Just a thought. Embrace the gifts that we're given, even if that means self-quarantine at home. Embrace what we have. Enjoy the gifts that we have. Tomorrow's not promised. So enjoy and carpe diem. Seize the day.